A Happy New Year to everyone. I'm Eddie Pleasant, and welcome to this sixth edition of the LHS Encore Virtual Concert Series presented by the members of the LHS Encore, the Alumni Chorale of Midland Lee High School. Your responses to the previous installments continue to encourage us, and we are grateful for your continued support. Thank you. As always, feel free to share the links with family and friends. And please, don't forget to donate to the LHS Alumni Chorale Scholarship. This edition of the LHS Encore Virtual Concert Series offers fresh perspectives for the new year. We are thrilled and honored to feature in this installment the young men and women of the current Lee High School Chorale. It is our pleasure to introduce to you Dr. Guadalupe Rivera, who starts his first year as the Director of Choral Activities at Lee. Later, Dr. Rivera will tell us a bit about his background, the challenges of teaching during a global pandemic, and his goals and aspirations for the program at Lee. Noted singer and professor of voice, Jodan Harper, along with celebrated lyric soprano, Shelley Traverse, round out the program. We open this virtual concert with the verve and vigor of the men of the LHS Chorale. Under the direction of Dr. Rivera, the men perform Oh Sing to the Lord by Dan Davidson, recorded during their recent fall concert. Tenor Jodan Harper is a graduate of the New England Conservatory of Music and SMU. He has a long list of accomplishments ranging from premieres of new works to numerous appearances with celebrated opera companies and symphony orchestras. In addition to his career as a performer, Mr. Harper is a highly successful professor of voice at the State University of New York, Fredonia where he currently serves as head of the voice area. Mr. Harper is accompanied by his wife and collaborative pianist, Dr. Ann Kissel Harper, who is also on the faculty of SUNY Redonia. So much, the 
From its beginning in the early 1960s, the Lee Choral Program has been blessed with a long line of talented and dedicated music educators. That tradition of excellence is now in the capable hands of Dr. Guadalupe Rivera. It is my pleasure to introduce Dr. Rivera, Director of Choral Activities at Midland Lee High School. Here now excerpts from our spirited conversation. How did you get your start in, in music? Mm -hmm. I grew up in Corpus um, all my life. My sisters were in bands. Yeah. And so on Saturday mornings, you know, mom would drag me to the middle school um, football games. And I'd sit there and I'd be more interested in the band than I was the football game. And so uh, I would see the, the, the drum majors up there conducting and the, and the band director. And... Um, I realized it's like, wow, that's kind of cool. I liked that. When I was in middle school, I wasn't going to do band. I was going to do theater. And they had too many kids for theater, so they made a general music class. Mm -hmm. And general music class was music and theater, but at the same time, we started singing, and I was like, hey, I like this. Did you, did you always want to be a choir director? In high school, um, I, I noticed that I had a, a, a real love for, for choir and, and, and directing, and I wanted to be the music educator. I was blessed, if you will, to be able to see uh, your video from the fall concert and the Christmas concert, and I was just so amazed at the diction that you could get past those masks. D tell us about the, these masks. Are, are they specially designed for singing? It's really not bad. Um, it has space in front, for so it's not against the lyrics. And they're they're all black, so they go with the uniform. And 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 the kids really like them. I'm very happy for these masks mm -hmm. because my thing with this new job was I needed to make this year as normal as possible right. for these students. So even though we didn't have an audience. You know, we we still did a concert. So we were we were distant enough, and you know, we didn't have an audience because we were into the pews in the sanctuaries. Um, we were very lucky. First Baptist has actually a an ionization system. A after our fall concert, I was like, okay, how am I going to make the holiday concert special? And I I was like, well, let's get, let's see if I can get them on TV. Somebody suggested PBS and. So I just emailed everybody, anybody that I knew on their website. Sure. And within about 30 minutes, the CEO of uh, CBS 7 uh, emailed me back. And he's like, first of all, I saw your concert. What a wonderful job. I appreciate you doing what you're doing. 
and being socially distant and wearing masks. And then he said, I would like, I would like to invite you to, if you could have 28 minutes of your holiday concert. Fabulous. We'd love to show it on Christmas Day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, it was a project. Uh, gosh, it was a project. Uh, but we did. And so those masks, you know, the, the way we did our, our concert, socially just the mask, you know, provided us this opportunity. But the biggest thing I learned and ran into was licensing. Yes. Because not only do you have to have a licensing for synchronization, which is recording. That's right. But if it's going to be on TV. Oh, yes. You have to have a broadcast license. That's a different license. It's a different, yeah. And everyone... Every publisher was different. I mean, some were like, free, no problem. Yes, yeah. pandemic, you know, uh, with our blessing. I think it's, a, it's an education for the kids as well to understand that everything that you see, you know, when you hear music in a store or something like that, there is a fee being paid to oh, allow no. that store no. to play that music. What? How did you find out about Lee, or what? What drew you to Lee? I knew of of Lee. I mean, for, for a very long time, I had visited Midland before, and being an alumni of TCU, I jumped on the bus with TCU and came and sang a uh, Carmen and Barana at uh, with the Midland Odessa Symphony. I, I like I said I knew of, of West Texas before uh, uh, the choirs in West Texas and Lee right. High School and its yep. reputation. And you know, all the alumni. So once this pandemic is lifted, what 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 would be your dream for the choral program at, at Lee? What, where would you like to go if you could? Oh, or what gosh. would you like to do with a program uh, like Lee? I, I I was talking with Bo the other day. I said, you know, dude. I said once this thing is gone, or you know, and we can travel again. I said this whole program, the whole fine arts program. I said we need to go sing on stage at Carnegie, and just celebration mm -hmm. you know, just because you know this program is it thrives you know it's been a, it's, it's a part of this the city you know mm -hmm. and if we survive this you know we need to celebrate yes and we're going to survive it we are well dr rivera lupe thank you so much for uh your your uh expertise that you're bringing to lee and thank you so much for continuing um, the uh, excellence in musical education and training there at our alma mater. We truly appreciate it. Well, thank you very much. Lyric soprano Shelley Traverse has been described as a standout and a scene stealer who charms her audiences with her voice and stage presence. Ms. Traverse has a resume awash in leading roles from Mozart's Magic Flute to Daniel Schneider's Charlie Parker's Yardbird. She also travels and performs with her new music ensemble, Living Music. Ms. Traverse holds degrees from Oberlin College Conservatory of Music and the Manhattan School of Music. She performs Un Bel Vive Remo from Puccini's Madama Butterfly. The aria Un Bel Di from Puccini's Madama Butterfly is all about hope. In this scene, Chocho San sings about the day that she truly believes that her lover will return to her. In this moment, all she has is a heart full of hope. Throughout this year, I have been reminded that sometimes hope is all we have and that it can sustain us. Oh, my God. 
from the women of the Lehigh School Chorale in an enchanting, ethereal, and inspirational performance of You Do Not Walk Alone by Elaine Hagenberg. Under the direction of second-generation choral conductor Lori Alfred Wash, this performance was recorded during their recent fall concert. We end this concert with the text of the Irish Blessing a wish for you and yours for the coming year. May you see God's light on the path ahead when the road you walk is dark. May you always hear, even in your hour of sorrow, the gentle singing of the lark. When times are hard, may hardness never turn your heart to stone. May you always remember when the shadows fall, you do not walk alone.
Thank you for joining me for this edition of the Encore Virtual Concert Series. Our next concert will be January 14th. Feel free to watch this and all your favorite installments again. And donate. A joyous, happy, and healthy new year to all. And until next time, sing on. <laughs>